Okay, we're going to solve a quadratic absolute value inequality right now using the cut point method. Let's see, this is absolute value of x squared plus x minus 16 is greater than 14. Well, we know how to solve an absolute value equation as if it said equal 14. So what am I going to solve first? What two equations? Well, we have x squared plus x minus 16 equals 14. And what's the other equation? x squared plus x minus 16 equals what? N negative 14? Good. x squared plus x minus 16 equals negative 14. Oh, wow. The other ones we've solved have been linear equations. What about this one? Uh, quadratic <coughs> equation. So let's get a 0 and factor. So let's move that 14 over. If I subtract 14 from both sides, what equation are we going to be solving? x squared plus x minus 30 equals 0. And everyone's problems like this is going to be uh, sort of rigged to work out really nicely where they factor real nice. Y'all get this one factored pretty quickly. What numbers would we use to multiply together to give 30? Uh, 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, what else? 6 and 5. Yeah, 6 and 5. Now the 6 and 5 need to multiply together to give 30, so how should I arrange the plus and minus sign? Negative 5, so that would be a plus on the 6. And then we'll set each one of these factors to zero. When I set the x plus 6 to zero, we get, what, a negative 6. When I set the x minus 5 to zero, what do we get? 5. Uh -huh. So there's two of our solution cut points. Well, I'm thinking about it. Let's decide right now. When we plot them on the number line, what are we going to use? Open circle or closed? Open, Open yeah, because of that. Uh, greater than symbol. If it had been greater than or equal to, it would have been a closed circle. Now let's do the same thing over here to solve x squared plus x minus 16 equals negative 14. I'll move the 14 over. So I'm adding 14 to both sides. And we have x squared plus x. Um, is that going to be a minus 2? Now, your problems will have slightly different numbers, but no matter what, it's rigged to, fact, to get you something that will factor really nicely. No matter how many times you click similar exercise, it's amazing. It keeps giving you one that factors real nice. You put x and x, and then what? Uh, not What numbers would you use to multiply together to give a 2? Uh, okay, so 1 times 2 or 2 times 1. How should I arrange my plus and minus if I'm going to have a negative 2 as the product? Um, plus 2 and minus 1, yeah. So fill that out in your head and make sure that it, we have it factored correctly. Then set each one of these to 0. So we get x equals, what is that, a negative 2 or... A 1, add 1 to both sides. Now, if this had been an equation, we'd be finished. There's your four answers. But to solve an absolute value in equality, the best thing to do is this cut point method. Draw a number line. And let's see, how many cut points are we going to have? Four, so I'll put four marks. And... Let's label those cut points in numerical order. Which one's going to be the furthest to the left? The one closest to negative infinity, let's see. Negative 6, and then would it be negative 2, and then a 1, and a 5. And what did we decide? Open or closed circles on those solution cut points? Open. Open. 
there. Now let's uh, uh, just test an interval. I usually test zero. Where uh, would zero lie on this number line? Is it between negative two and positive one? That's where zero lies. And that's the number I'm testing. If you wanted to test Say the number 12 is your favorite number and you wanted to test that one, then you'd be testing over here. So let's test zero. Plug it into the original problem up here. In place of the x's, I'm putting a zero. So we'd have zero squared plus zero, which is zero, minus 16, just a negative 16. So we have absolute value of negative 16 is greater than 14, before you decide true or false, you need to um, actually take the absolute value of negative 16. What's the absolute value of negative 16? So we have 16 is greater than 14. True or false? True. So we'll shade it right here. True. And then just, they alternate, so the next one, false, true, right here, what, maybe false, and true. So what would the interval notation look like on this? Uh, do you want to think of that as negative infinity, infinity? It would be something like parentheses, negative infinity, comma, negative six, close parentheses, Union, are you following me? Are you all caught up? Parentheses, negative 2, comma, 1, close parentheses, union, parentheses, 5, comma, infinity. This is a nice, nice way of solving absolute value inequalities. If you look through a book or if you look through a uh, view an example here on my math lab, you might see a different way of doing it. And I'll pull that up in a moment. But cut points are the way to go. Okay. So that was number, well, anyway, that's it.